Hello YouTube, it is your host Chris Ruber with Tungaloon Outdoors and today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make a pole carrier for rather cheap. We're going to try to keep the budget around $60, $70. So hopefully y'all do enjoy the video and uh, I will see y'all once we get to our first destination. Ladies and gentlemen, so we're currently in Lowe's. Um, you can go to Home Depot or wherever the hell you want. Right now we're going to the plumbing section. So once we get to the plumbing section, I'll let y'all know. All right guys, so we are in the plumbing section. Um, now what you wanna look for is we're gonna be looking for four inch PVC pipe. Um, so what that means is it's a four inch diameter. Uh, and we want four inch because you can probably load at least um, probably at least eight poles in there maybe so right now that is what we are looking for and we're in the right section but we're in one one and a half inch PVC so all right so we are in the proper section so as you can see this is what we want four inch PVC and then now what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for an end socket or cap socket whatever you call it so it looks like this it just got a just an end on it and then we want a coupling a four inch coupling it's got a little ridge on the inside in case y'all can see and then lastly we want a test plug a four inch test plug and the reason why we want a four inch test plug is because once you start tightening this up right now it's about three inch diameter once you start tightening it up it reaches four inch and that's going to be our way to get in and out of the um, pvc pipe without having to continuously unscrew or tighten everything up so Give me about two minutes while I put all this together so we can go check out and we can actually get the process started. All right, so we got it all together. Now the fun part, going and seeing the damage in the bank account. And uh, yeah, and if y'all want to paint it, which I'm going to, make sure y'all get the whatever color y'all want. I already have the spray paint at home, so I'm not gonna buy two more cans. Like, that's just a waste of money. So let's go check out. $35.05 now granted if you don't have spray paint and you don't have PVC glue like I do then the price is gonna vary and obviously what store you're at and all that stuff it will vary sorry there's a pair that's right over the microphone but it all varies where at what store and what you buy but for me it's just the PVC pipe and everything don't ask why I have pillows back there I I haven't taken them in my house from college so whatever but we got one more stop to go and then we'll be back home in the garage putting this whole thing together and painting it so i will see y'all once we get there okay guys so i lied a little bit we gotta stop and get some freaking starbucks okay like i need some coffee hope you don't mind Ooh, got us 
some Starbucks. And it's raining, it's pouring. This is not a sponsored uh, video either by Lowe's or Starbucks, but Starbucks or Lowe's, if y'all want to sponsor me hit, or sponsor us, I should say, hit us up. All right, guys, first of all, I want to apologize for the freaking rain. As y'all seen in the, the slow motion and stuff, it was raining a little bit. Now it really picked up, of course, once we get back to the garage to start this project. So you have your four inch PVC pipe, Take both your couplings off, and you want to dry the outside and the inside. Make sure there's no wet surfaces, obviously. Um, the cement glue that you, we, we will be using does not like water that much. So, you're also going to do the same for your coupling and your uh, end coupling. I forgot what it was called. Um, so, just make sure they're both dry. And I know the end one is dry, dried it before. And I recommend y'all do get a box, like a or a box or a big piece of cardboard. That way, once you start, you don't want this uh, all-purpose cement going on your concrete. It will ruin your concrete. So, first of all, we're gonna start with our end cap. So, we're gonna grab our end cap. We're gonna bring it over. Now, this is gonna be kind of the sketchy part because I don't really have a, a good spot over here. So, we're gonna try to carry it across. I'm gonna throw a blanket down. Just in case of any drips, you don't want to hit the concrete. So, throw this down. Alright. So, we're going to go in there, we're going to take our cement. Since we don't want to drip anymore, we're going to try to hit a good amount of the dog. Turn it upside down. See how I use this as a kind of like a bowl or something? So look, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you get a nice, good good layer on the inside. Try to make sure it doesn't run on the outside. So we got a nice, good layer. Then, you're going to do the opposite. So you're going to do the outside of your PVC pipe. Add a little bit more on just to be safe. And don't be shy with this because, you know, you really want this to stick nice and be waterproof. So as you see, we put a good amount on. Put this back. And get your end cap, you're gonna push her on, and you're gonna give it as many turns as you can until you feel it get nice and stiff like that. And then boom, side one's done. Before it dries though, try to get anything excess off that you may have done, like I hit over there, checking all these. Nice, nice little seal over there. All right, boom, side one done. Now, we're gonna do the same for the other side, except there's one little bit different. On the inside of this, I showed y'all once, there's a little rail. We do not want it to get on the other side of this rail because that's where that red fitting is going to fit to make it waterproof. So, this time you got to be a little bit more careful. But I have faith that y'all can do that. Hurry, get over here, and boom. Get the spin nice going. We actually got a lot on this side. So, we're going to go ahead. We're gonna put this like like this. Oh, don't fall. Alright. Oh, it's falling. We're just gonna put it over here. Alright. Now we're just gonna try to hurry up, get this other side. And then plop her hard in there. Push her in nice and hard. Now this time, you know, you should be able to feel it hit the wall. That's when you know you got a good one. And then always double check inside to make sure none excess fell off. Like, hang on. Like we did in here. And as it's dripping down. <laughs> so, we're going to wait. We're going to let it sit there for a minute or two. And we're going to try to get all the excess we can off. And we're also going to try to make a nice little bead around the whole inside. So we're just going to take a napkin or a paper towel. Don't try to use a, like an actual um, nice, like a, don't be using your mom's cooking stuff. All right, don't do that. And then boom. So this is step two after you go and get your parts. Now I'm going to show you all step three. But first we got to wait for about 10, 15 minutes. We want this glue to dry nice. All right. You want it to be waterproof all the way around. 
So, once it's time to paint, I will see y'all then. And don't forget, guys, whatever color y'all want it to paint it, y'all paint it. I'm going to go for more of an outdoorsy kind of look. So, I'm going to go hunter or olive green and a tan. That's just me. And then I'll also, I'll also try to show y'all a step on how you can make a handle for this. So, I will see y'all once it's time to start painting. All right, ladies and gents, all right. So we are back. It has been probably about 10, 15 minutes. So the glue is hard enough. Now it's time to paint it. I have a um, dark green and I have a tan. Uh, and then I also have a black that I'm gonna use that I found. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna, gonna, you're just gonna wanna start off light. pipe slash um, pole holder painted now you just gotta wait for about 10-15 minutes depending on what spray paint you get and once you do that we're gonna come back over again with green just to touch up anything that we may have missed and then after that we will uh, start putting on the next few coats of color so I will see y'all in a second all right, guys, so once this dries up, ours is pretty much dry. Now we're just going to check it, see if there's any anything we really need to touch up. I don't see anything that's too concerning because, then again, it's not about looks. It's just about efficiency. I just like to make mine look nice because, you know, why not? So what we got here is just some net. I don't even know where it came from at all. And what you're going to do, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the net over, and we're going to give this like a more of like a military kind of paint job. So I'm going to get my tan and my black. Make sure you shake, shake them. I forgot to mention that earlier. So shake your tan. And then the only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and just, just do lines, do do splotches. I don't, there's, there's no set rule on what, what you should and shouldn't do. Uh, really, it's whatever your heart desires. And then come in, you know, get your black and then you, you know, just, do it man just, just go for it and have fun doing it you know it's this is this will give you more of like a snake kind of snake pattern I guess you would call it so just go do that or just leave it how it is or paint it whatever color you want like I've already said so I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this on mine and I will see y'all once we get finished doing this process as well all right, ladies and gents. So once you've finished the process that you like it and how you want the color and everything to be, go ahead, let it sit out, let it dry. I'm not gonna show you alls yet. You'll see it here in just a few seconds. Right now, I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that y'all do like and comment on the video and let us know if y'all did enjoy this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to subscribe. We are trying to upload pretty recent, like kind of soonish now. But we are full-time workers, not on YouTube, so it's kind of hard to do that sometimes, and plus editing and all that. So, please guys, go ahead and do subscribe. We do have a challenge video coming up for a yard sale. Y'all should enjoy it. We actually went to film it, and everything kind of went to crap um, with our GoPros, but we've got them all fixed. So, hopefully y'all do enjoy this video, and hopefully y'all do enjoy how mine looks. Maybe y'all will... Look, make yours look like mine. So, I will see you on the next video. Peace.